Hello Team Zug, and this is the big video, this is my 30,000 subscribers special and today we're going to be doing a video that you all been asking me, asking me to do for years and I'm officially going to give it to you guys. Today we are going to review all of my um, Tommy slash Thomas items, well not all of them because I have I am missing a few things and I can't find all of them. So this is going to be like a, well, I won't say part one, but more likely a uh, first video. You know how like YouTubers like, let's say Thomas Wood really makes their collection videos every now and again, in, every year. This is basically that. So I hope you're excited and let's get to it. First up, we got my, um, Hit Toys Thomas that I got for Christmas um, in 2023. Um, he's a bit beat up and he doesn't run anymore, but I don't really care. I'm just glad to have an actual Thomas that I can use in my videos. So, he's pretty cool. I picked this one over the, um, the Tommy one because of the red lining. Who knows a little extra detail? Could go a long way away. And I prefer the original face over the Fisher Price redesigns. And yeah, but I just prefer the original. But I would like to get the original Player L Thomas with the white running board, but it's so hard to find nowadays. So, really good model. I really like this model of Thomas. Next up, we've got my favorite character, Edward. Now, I actually um given Edward um a, a new side rod for my old Fisher Price Edward that I turned into Robin. Um Edward doesn't run, but, but I'm just so glad to have him. Especially because Tommy Edwards are really hard to find nowadays. Don't know why. And his co load is also from the Fisher Price Edward that you could see. Not the best. I had to do a lot of cutting, but I'm just I'm pleased with the final results. So yeah, that's Edward, good old Eddie. Next up is Henry. Ah, good old Henry. And he is actually, he actually works. I got him for around £20 along with his original cars. And I gotta say, it was a pretty good deal. I love the two lamps that he has. It's based on the fine Kipper scenes. Really nostalgic. I love this model. Also, um... I never owned a Tommy Henry or Tommy Edward as a kid because, well, they weren't selling Tommy when I was getting into them. It's so like, out of all the main cast, they were the only two I didn't have in Tommy form. But hey, I'm just glad to have a Tommy item that I really love. Next up is Gordon. Now, I got Gordon quite recently along with Edward. Um, he has the Core Lord, which I, um... Very glad to have. Um, I actually took this from my old Tommy James, which I used for Fred the 4F. So yeah, um, Gordon runs, but he's a really slow runner. But I'm just glad that he works. Next up is James. Now, James sort of works, but the problem is he doesn't have any traction tires, which I am plans to um, which I plans to get traction tires for him to make him a bit more complete. I really love this model. Such a such a nice toy. Man, I wish they still make these. Next up is Percy. Now, Percy is an interesting one for me because this is the original um, painted face Percy. Hence why you can see some marks. Um, so, he's one I have to be very careful with. Now, he does have a few paint chips on his face. I'll need to fix that at some point. I can never get this guy to open though for some reason. I wonder why, but very nice model. I really like this Percy. Also, people claim that he is way too long because, well, it's well Percy is smaller than Thomas in the in the railway series, and possibly in real life, um, in the TV show they're nearly around the same size because of um, mechanism. So I could actually um, understand why they made Percy. And I think as Percy and Thomas are on the same size, it's actually quite accurate, TV series-wise. 
Next up is Toby. Now I got Toby for my birthday last year and I just recently reviewed him along with Spencer Diesel 10 and this is the Playro Toby and he just looks very good. He's quite mint actually. He's probably the, one of the newest models I have in my collection and I really love this model. It's so simplistic but I love it. Next up is Duck. Now Duck has is actually my childhood duck and you could tell that it's my childhood duck because he's quite beat up. But I still hang on to him and I'm really glad I did. So Duck is such a really good model. I, I really loved him as a kid and I still do to this very day. Next up is Donald and he doesn't have traction tires but I would like to get him, get him some. He's such a really nice model one of my absolute favorites i really love everything about him and also fun fact he and douglas are the first engines to not be a, a engine powered not tender powered so that's pretty cool next up we have douglas he's probably the rarest engine i have in my collection but we all know the story of tommy douglas like donald he doesn't have any um Traction tires and fun fact um his middle wheel right here was broke so I made him a new one. Very nice to have him though. I really love everything about him, especially that face. Man, Playro was so good when they made the models. Next up we have another rare one, kind of. It's t it's Oliver. And I gotta say, I am actually nostalgic for his model. I never owned him as a kid, but and people say he's one of the worst player models, but when you actually have him at, at close, he's actually a pretty decent model. I actually really prefer, I think I prefer the black wheels on him over the green ones where some people do. Because, I don't know, black just, black wheels actually suit all of them in my opinion. Can't figure out why. And also, I didn't do the front coupler thing. He actually came like this when I won him from eBay. So that's pretty cool. And if you're wondering how much I pay for Oliver, £13. A lucky deal, wasn't it? The deal of the century. Next up, we have Emily. Now, I got Emily from the same law as Donald and Douglas. Um, I gave her the, well, I gave her the actual coupling, just reverse, because I can't find my original coupling for her, because this came broken. And I actually swapped out the motor that came with Emily because it was missing a bag with my childhood Emily, which I broke a long time ago. So yeah, um, that's something that's a bit interesting about Emily. Is DIY and I like a like you know um, homemade. Um, yeah, I really like this model. Well, kinda. Um, I'm not really a big fan of her. Um, well. I actually actually understand why they made her tender powered and she along with Murdoch are the only tender driven engines I actually like. Oh yeah and Harvey and Mighty Mac as well. But I'll get to that in a bit. Here's Diesel. Um this is my childhood diesel and he's a bit um a bit dirty, but I don't care. I'm just really glad to have him in my collection. Here's Bill. Like Douglas, he was originally in a set until he was eventually released by himself. Really nice model. Fun fact, when I was a kid, Bill was actually more common than Ben. Oh, how the tables have turned. I really like this model of Bill. And if you're wondering, yes, it's the yellow stickers because I actually give Bill and Ben numbers 1 and 2 with a permanent marker. Yeah, I have no plans to remove it, so they're stuck like this. Oh well, don't really care. Here's Ben. Same story as Bill, I got him in my childhood, and I gotta say, I really like this model. So yeah, very nostalgic, great toy, great memories. Next up is Boko. Like Bill and Ben, he's also from my childhood, and fun fact, I actually got them together from one of my aunts, so that's really nice. Boko, I actually had a stupid headcanon when I was a kid that he was part of the... Soldor Island Clayworks, 
and he was the number three. Um, so I give him a number three, but I also try to move with another permanent marker, which didn't look so good, but hey, what can you do? <sighs> this one hurts. So the next one is Salty, and this is my childhood Salty, which I could you not, I drew all of him with a permanent markers, and I managed to remove most of them. Yeah, and also the numbers are kind of damaged by trying to fix them. As well as the face, because I actually gave him a scar, but I managed to remove it, and I had to repaint his face. Doesn't look too terrible, but I kind of wish I didn't do that to him. Next up is the evil bad Diesel himself, Diesel 10. And I gotta say, I really like this model. Now, it may be a bit chunky, but who cares? He's really nice. Penchy's hungry. Here's Splatter, one of Diesel 10's minions. I gotta say, um, I really like this model, except for the, they still kept the ladders. Seriously, player, you couldn't send them off, but I don't really care. Very nostalgic, though. <laughs> and here's Splatter's partner in crime, Dodge. I really like this model. Seems to always butter. They were both from my childhood, and I gotta say, I love both of them. I don't know why I didn't like them when I was younger, when I was starting YouTube. You know what? Spy and Dodge are now good characters. If I could change one thing about those videos I did a long time ago, I would say Spy and Dodge are actually good characters. Yup. That's the one thing I change. I'll change about my channel. Next up, we have Spencer. He's, I got him for my birthday along with Diesel 10 and Toby and he's in very nice condition. But it's also weird that he's looking up for some reason. Don't know why. Maybe he's looking at my ceiling. Who knows? And it was a lovely model. Next up we have Stepney and I gotta say, I really like this model. Kind of. This is my childhood Stepney. This is the Fisher Price one, and he has this clanking thing. Yeah, um, I have plans to get the um, Tommy Stepney, but this this guy is so nostalgic to me. I really love Stepney. And finishing off the entries from the classic era, we have Arthur, and I gotta say, Tommy and Playro went to town on him. But it's weird because I got him new in the box and a long time ago and I never put a battery in him and he kind of doesn't want to run. What a shame. Next up is Rosie. She's from my childhood. I don't know if she runs. Probably not. Um, she's a bit beat up and plus she was lost for a few years but I managed to find her. Really like this model. Next up we have Whiff. Now Whiff is from the bundle I got a long time ago. He is broken. His motor and his um, brake pipe thing is gone, but I don't really care. Plus, whiff is kind of hard to find, so but if I find a good whiff for in good condition, I'll probably replace it. But for now, this is my model of whiff. Now here we have my mascot, my my favorite one-off character, Billy. Now, my Billy is broken because his motor's dead, his wheel's cracked, and his, his front is a bit rusted, and he has a rip sticker, but I don't really care. This Billy has a place in my heart, and he's been in my childhood for basically my entire life. And I would like to get a replacement, but who knows? I kind of like this simplistic broken Billy. Here we have Stanley. Now, Stanley's from my childhood and he's a bit on the rough ev edges, but who cares? Stanley is Stanley. I love him. The next engine we have is Flora, and what can I say? She looks great. Fun fact, I have like four Floras in my collection. I don't know why. I just can never escape Flora. Here we have Hank, the biggest engine I have in my collection, and he is missing his coal load. I don't know where it is. And he looks fine. He looks really good, actually. Here's Den, a really nice model. This is from my childhood, and what can I say? I love him. 
Dark, same story as Den, from my childhood, and I love him. Really good model. Paxton, a really nice model, even though he has no cap windows. And I actually use um, Sharpies, but I remove them, because I hated them. So that's Paxton, really nice. Stafford, what can I say? He looks good. I like him. And the final engine we have is Porter. Well, that's the end.